everyone, it's Jason from EskimoTV.net. Today I'm going to be reviewing Jesus Christ Superstar, which I got to see here in Houston, Texas at the Hobby Center. And if you prefer to read my review, you can check that out over at EskimoTV.net. This is the North American tour here in 2023, um, which will be continuing throughout the United States um, after it leaves here on Sunday, uh, January the 22nd. So Jesus Christ Superstar, in case you don't know kind of what this is all about, is a rock opera that features sung music throughout its entire production, and it's actually celebrating its 50th anniversary. Uh, the music and lyrics are by masterminds Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber. The musical revolves around the life of Jesus Christ leading up to his death on the cross and focuses on the relationship between him and his disciples, specifically focusing on the traitor Judas. The show features powerhouse vocals, particularly from its lead tenor characters, uh, Jesus and Judas, who are played by Jack Hopewell and L.V. Ellis, respectfully. Uh, these gentlemen belt, screech, squeal, numerous high notes throughout the runtime. Additionally, uh, I believe most people, at least myself, aren't typically swayed by low bassy notes, uh, but the, va the bass vocals sung by Caphias, uh, who's played by Isaac Reichingham, was sung so incredibly low and with so much stamina and authority that I was thoroughly impressed. And I thought that was noteworthy because it's not super common that a really low note impressed me and it, that had a lot going for it. Uh, the course of superstar is what will be stuck in your head as you exit the theater. If you haven't heard the music, uh, from this musical, I recommend before paying for a hefty price ticket, uh, streaming the music on Spotify, Apple music, or wherever you stream music, just to see if you like the vibe. Uh, superstar was kind of the song that was stuck in my head as I was exiting the theater. Outside of that, there weren't too many other songs that were as memorable. Nonetheless, the unique rock opera has many impressive vocals and anthems sprinkled throughout its brisk 90-minute runtime that I believe most will find the show to be entertaining and intriguing as they reflect on the conversations that may have been had with these iconic biblical characters. Also, the crucifixion depiction will most likely be an emotional scene for some audiences. Production design and costume design by Tom Scutt are minimal. There's no drastic set changes as the set is based on the original 1970s design and the clothing choices for the characters I thought were rather simplistic. The choreography by Drew McConey boasts synthesized energy amongst its cast that was riveting to see, and the lighting design by Lee Caron adds to the rock anthem atmosphere that these characters and songs bring forth. Director Timothy Sheeter has put together a competent, unique show that will be cherished by many. I'm going to give Jesus Christ Superstar a B-. Uh, once again, this will be playing here in, the, in Houston, Texas at the Hobby Center until Sunday, January the 22nd, 2023, and then we'll continue on tour. You can visit JesusChristSuperstar.com for information on tickets and uh, other locations that this will be touring here in 2023. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this review, smash that like button. You can also consider subscribing to the channel where you can expect to find reviews um, that are related to uh, film and uh, Broadway. You can also check out EskimoTV.net for reviews from myself as well as other authors. Thank you all so much for checking this video out. Once again, my name is Jason Escamilla from EskimoTV.net.